it might be remembered for the plexiglass, or for the relative tameness, or perhaps not at all given the chaos back in Washington and the frenetic pace of the campaign as a whole. Or it might be remembered for searing attacks not just on opposing plans but on entirely different portrayals of the past and visions of the near future, amid a pandemic that seldom has felt more urgent. At a moment of intense at a moment of intense focus on the health of a president, and with two historically old candidates topping the ticket, the running mates engaged in an emotional and highly personal debate, just one lacking the insults and outsized personalities of President Donald Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden. If the debate felt removed from the wild events of recent days, both candidates still brought emotional heft to the crisis that is clearly defining the presidential race and so much more. The American people the American people have witnessed what is the greatest failure of any presidential administration in the history of our country, Sen. Kamala Harris, Biden's running mate, said in her first exchange of the night. They knew what was happening and they didn't tell you. They knew and they covered it up. Vice President Mike Pence responded with a tone less of anger than of disappointment. He laid out an argument where a swift action from Trump prevented even more deaths from COVID-19. From the very first day, President Donald Trump has put the health of America first, Pence said. Pence was, was also quick to suggest that Biden and Harris could risk lives by undermining confidence in a vaccine, after Harris said she wouldn't take one based on Trump's word. Stop playing politics with people's lives, Pence said. That Pence could deliver a line like that at a moment like this speaks to his discipline as a candidate, discipline that Trump famously lacks. The president, of course, is currently in isolation at the White House, having himself contracted coronavirus amid a series of official and campaign events that flouted his own administration's guidelines. Trump is now suggesting not only that the pandemic shouldn't dominate people's lives, but also that a vaccine and even a cure is near. The vaccine and even a cure is near.